AITA for not stepping in when my stepdaughter yelled at both my husband and father about my son's name. I, F23, have recently just given birth to my first son. My labor was about 25 hours, but everything went well and both baby and I are healthy. My mom died when I was a child, so I had my stepdaughter Vivian, 23F, in the room with me when I gave birth. I'm truly grateful for her as she kept me grounded during the whole ordeal. After I gave birth to my son and the nurses were cleaning him up while I delivered the placenta, my husband, 49M, and my father, 46M, came into the room. Both immediately went to the baby, quickly asking if I was alright, before basically blocking out everyone else in the room. I had just gotten situated after being cleaned up as well, when another nurse came in with the birth certificate and asked what his name would be. My husband immediately said a name with my father speaking up, to say it was a wonderful name for our son. I did not want my son to be named this, it's a name that has been in my husband's family for generations, and it has a lot of expectations glued to it. I don't want him to crumble under these expectations, and grow up with disappointment from his father and other family members if he fails. The nurse didn't think anything of it, just smiled and confirmed the spelling before having us sign the birth certificate and giving her congratulations. The minute she left the room, Vivian asked what the fuck my husband just did and if he had any consideration for me. My husband looked at her and asked her what she meant, which made her go off on a rant saying, and I quote, she gave you the second kid you wanted, and killed my mother for. My father cut in and told her to not get involved in other people's marriages, and she told my father that was rich considering he would always butt into her parents' marriage, and to fuck off. I won't lie, I relished in the reaction my father had. Both men left shortly after that and my Vivian apologized for causing a scene after the birth, but I told her that it was no worry and thanked her for standing up for me. She gave me and the baby kisses, an air kiss for the baby, before leaving, presumably to shower and get some sleep, with the promise of being back in a few hours. The longer time goes on, the more guilty I feel. My husband has every right to have a say in the baby's name and it does have sentimental meaning to him. My father told me that he was disappointed that I allowed my stepdaughter to be so out of line and yell at him and my husband, so he has been giving me the cold shoulder after that, only speaking to my husband and doting on the baby. My best friend and husband are tense with each other and I feel alienated in my own home. Was I being an asshole?